Hello there everybody, Sam's Trains here. Welcome back to the railway. Just a little bit of a short for you today. So this is a video idea suggested by Paul Horn and who else was it? Uh, Coles Copters as well. They said, could you power a model train with solar panels? And I thought, you know what, I'm going to give that a try. So I bought some of these solar panels. I bought four of them for less than 10 quid and these put out six volts and quite a small amount of current. I think it's 50 to 100 milliamps, depending on the brightness of the sun. Now, obviously, is there any practical advantage to having a model railway running off solar panels? I don't think so, really, because obviously, if the world is somehow one day without power, I think finding a way to power your model trains is going to be the least of our worries. However, I thought it would be interesting to try. Now, obviously, the most boring and I suppose the easiest way to do this would just be to mount them at the side of the track and then connect them to the track using a Hornby power clip or something like that. But to me, there's no showmanship in that. There's nothing particularly exciting about that. So what I want to do is find a way to mount these onto a train so that they will travel along with the engines. Sorry, I'm laughing about this because I do silly things, don't I? Uh, but see if I can get these solar panels to actually, I don't know, maybe mount them onto the roofs of coaches and things and wire them to the loco directly to try and make it work. <laughs> I don't know whether this is going to work. I don't know that there'll be enough power. I did try wiring these up. Um, Oops, something's collapsed over there. Ignore that. Uh, I tried wiring them up in two pairs, so I put uh, two of them in parallel and then put the two pairs in series, so you get uh, 12 volts at uh, pretty small milliamps, less than 200 milliamps on a sunny day. Uh, and I don't think that'll be enough, uh, but I think also 12 volts is too much. So I'm just going to put all four of these in, in parallel, rather, um, so that we get six volts and hopefully enough power, uh, enough current to actually get the loco to work. So that's the idea. First of all, I'm going to devise a way to <laughs> fix these to coaches. I'm hoping not to destroy the coaches and see if we can't get them running uh, with a loco. So come with me. Let's see if it works. All right, so welcome to another one of Sam's pretty crude engineering projects. I'm not going to go into this in too much detail. I'm just going to do a sort of whistle-stop tour of what I'm going to do. Basically, I'm going to mount the solar panels onto these, frankly, pretty awful, build-your-own model railway village or something uh, coaches. Uh, two per coach. I've got four panels, as I say, so it's going to look something like that. I'm just going to use hot glue, so it's not going to be anything permanent. And I'm going to use these... Um, sockets and plugs, these connectors that I bought from wish.com for about a pound. Um, I'm going to use those to connect it all together rather than hardwiring everything because I want it to be modular and maybe if this by some miracle works really well I might be able to extend it and do more. And then I'm going to directly connect the solar panel arrays to the motor of this 040. This is Miles by the way, another experimental engine of mine. And the idea is that I'm not going to touch the pickups or anything like that so that if we do get a sunny day and there's enough power to spare, the remaining power can come out through the wheels into the track and power any other locos I put on the line. Um, that might not happen if there's not enough sun or enough current, but uh, it might. So let's give this a try. I'm going to wire all the parallel, sorry, all the panels in parallel uh, so that we get as much current as possible at around 6 volts, which should give us a nice sort of moderate-ish speed. So I'll do that. And I'll talk to you again in just a sec. Okay, so there we go. That's the first coach sorted. We've got the positive and negatives common together on this plug here. And so all I need to do is do the same. This is going to be the back coach. I need to do the same with the front coach and have an output as well to the loco. So it's looking good. Should be able to try this quite shortly. Okay, so now the coaches are fully solar panelled up and we've got this connector, which I'm actually going to probably use as a coupling. Um, yeah, it's not going to harm these wires to get tugged a little bit. And obviously, I'm not really building this to last, but it is nice and easy to uh, unclip and uh, clip them back together. And that's a good solid connection there. So I'm pleased with that. Uh, and I have measured it just up here in the loft under these lights. And there is a current output, very, very tiny, obviously, because LEDs aren't going to be any substitute for the sun. But uh, I just wanted to make sure I was getting a reading. And I am. So let's set this up then. Let's get one of these plugs onto the loco and a switch as well so I can control the thing. Hang on. Where's the switch? Yep. And uh, hopefully that will all work well. So let's give it a try. So 
So the contraption's ready. It's very rough, as always with me, but it should be functional, I think. So we've got the solar panels are all connected up with the plugs. There's this switch here at the moment. It's set to draw power from the track. As you can see, it does. Um, but with a flick of that switch, I can set it to draw power from the solar panels. And it will do so. And uh, the only thing to do now is to take it outside into the garden and find out whether or not there is enough sun uh, to produce enough current to actually make the motor run inside the 040. So wish me luck, let's see if it works. Okay, so the setup here is far from ideal really. It's not all that much of a sunny day. The ground isn't very flat just here where the sun is. Uh, so as you can see, I've very dodgily inserted some coasters here to see if it works. I've switched it on and now we're just waiting for the sun to come out a bit more. <laughs> and I think it is doing, is it? Oh, the loco's turned on, that's a good sign. Give it a push. There is obviously quite a lot of drag in this system. And as you can see, there is no power track connected to this setup at all. Oh, that was so close to a whole lap. Yeah, as I say, it's not a flat ground, so it's not a good setup, really. But um, come on. But I'm amazed that they're not derailing. Ah, OK. No, it has derailed the second I said that. Let's fix that. And if you cast shadows over the solar panels with your body, you can actually control the train a little bit. So if I want to bring it to a stop, come on, I just stand here. It cuts it out. Now start it up again, stand out of the way. Oh, well the sun's gone in I think. Give it a push, no. Nope. But either way, it works. So to answer the old question, is solar power the way forward for model railways? I think absolutely not sums it up. However, it is a possibility if you're out camping and you uh, you have that desperate urge to build a model railway but without electricity, uh, then there are ways for you, although you might look a bit of a twit doing it, but uh, yes, it does work. Well, there we go. As I say, yeah, just a little short video for you there, just to prove a concept really. I hope you enjoyed seeing that, and as always, let me know what you thought in the comments. I know this is a bit of a goofy idea, but uh, hopefully it was quite interesting to see nonetheless.